Ciao friends, that's with Thimblehooks. It's Thimblehooks Munchies. And I have today with me, Gabby and Evie. Hi. And what are we doing today, girls? We're trying five different types of fancy chocolates. Two different types of Godiva Belgium chocolates, salted caramel, milk chocolate, and regular dark chocolate. All right, and the next three that we're gonna be trying today is from the Godiva um, Masterpieces. It's their assortment of legendary chocolates. So in this Ooh. one, there is milk chocolate, caramel, lion of Belgium, dark chocolate ganache heart, and milk chocolate hazelnut oysters. Now Godiva chocolates is well known for their shape. So that's why there's, you know, there's a lion, the seashell, and the heart in this one. All right, so we are going to- Is it the heart of the ocean? No, <laughs> it's not. No. No Titanic reference? That would be really cool if we opened that up and get the heart of the ocean. That would be cool. Because Rose is I not using it anymore. It'd be a little bit better than chocolate. She threw it over the edge. Because we could buy way more chocolate. This is cool. It is like a pack of gum. Look at you flip it open and there's eight tiny little candy bars in there. That's really cool. All right, so what are we doing first? Let's do the... the Salted caramel milk chocolate first, which is the bar. It's this little bar. Just because you already anticipate that being your favorite. Yeah. Yeah, I love milk salted chocolate caramel milk. milk chocolate. Ooh, is it even crunchy? Oh, yeah, that smells like a lot of sea salt. That's lovely. Mmm. I thought it was going to be gooey inside. Oh, that's yummy. Oh, I it's not it. even gooey. Like mm -hmm. most caramel bars are gooey inside. That's really good. No goo. Just crispy. It's like a little puff rice cereal. <laughs> My wrappers came empty. Oh, Gabby's is empty. That was really good. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Okay, those are pretty amazing. Well, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Mine's still empty. Well, we have more. <laughs> I think mine was really small. It wasn't empty. I did taste it, but mine was just really small. Okay, that was lovely. Wow. Yeah, I think I could have used a little bit more salt. I think the, I think the caramel is kind of like, I think that's what you were saying was like the rice, like the rice crispy kind of things in there. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't gooey, mm -hmm. like like a like a Twix or any of those other things where you just go and gooey. It was it was mixed in, and it was really really flavorful. Mm -hmm. Probably could have thrown in a smidge more salt for the salted caramel, because otherwise it would, I think it's a caramel. Very caramel, it's a caramel yeah. milk chocolate. The salted needs a little bit more of a, a hit of the salt, but good. Fantastic. What did you think? I thought it was really good. I think, personally, I thought it could have used a little bit more caramel, because I really like caramel chocolate, and I thought it was pretty good on the salt. It could use slightly more salt, but overall it was really good. Fantastic. Nice. All right, what's All right. next? Let's do the dark chocolate. I, I hope yours chocolate. isn't empty. Ooh, wow, is that's dark. dark. What is it? 72%? Oh, is it 72 percent cacao dark chocolate? Oh, is it just the dark chocolate that's bar? Dark. Yeah. Oh my. That is a dark chocolate bar. You think that's dark? Wait till some of the lints we're gonna do. I know. That's not even close. Oh my. You don't like it, do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, AB stops at less than 72%. Apparently, AB's not gonna make it through the whole round of lint bars. Let me get there. I'm not a dark chocolate person. Mm. They could oh, have so thrown some sorry. salted milk chocolate car or salted caramel into this one, but it is a nice dark chocolate. It's definitely dark. Mm -hmm. We're only at 72%. Oh, wow. 
Okay. Oh, this is nothing. I think, personally, I think this would be better with like mint. Because I think Ooh, mint, be good. mint and dark chocolate go really good together. So I think if they made like a dark chocolate mint bar, that would be really, really good. Oh, yeah, that would, I agree. I changed nothing about it. It was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> but I can go pretty high on the, on the percentage of chocolate now. That was pretty good. You know what else would go I could eat that whole thing. Mm. You know what else would I think that would go good with it that I know that you're going to hate? That would be amazing with coconut. I know it. Uh-huh. There's coconut. Oh. I'm good. Shh. Coconut hater over here. That would be amazing with coconut. That is just yummy. I think oh, okay. The lion one. The lion one is the milk chocolate caramel lion of Belgium. So you be so favorite. milk chocolate caramel. Yes. yes. So she had to get that dark chocolate seventy-two percent cow out of her mouth. Oh, is that what cute. we're doing? Exactly. A little lion like a shield. Oh, it is. is. I have a feeling this is going to be gooey because this is a little thicker. There he goes. Yeah. Oh, shirt. he's cute. Oh, he's so cute. I yeah. like it. It's gooey. It's gooey in the middle? Oh my goodness. Yep, it's gooey. Like a whole bar? Mm-hmm. Oh yep. my. <laughs> wow, that's like caramello gooey. It's really good. Is it a good caramel yes. or a bad caramel? Fantastic. Oh my. That was mushy. I am not disappointed. That was great. I'll let you bite it first so I know how messy we're going to get. Oh, that's yummy. Yeah, that's a really, really nice caramel. That was you want amazing. To do the ganache heart. Or the hazelnut oyster. Which one do you want to do, Mom? Get rid of the hazelnut oyster. Because I know you guys are going to like the hazelnut oh, no. oyster. Isn't that the gold one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not big on hazelnut. But maybe you will be after this beautiful piece of chocolate. No. Oh, there's, I thought there was going to be a hazelnut inside. It's like a hazelnut cream. I don't taste anything. No, I really thought there was going to be like a, like little pieces of hazelnuts in here. There's not. No hazelnuts inside. It tastes like something I've had before, but I don't know exactly what. Because this is the first time I've ever had these chocolates, but it mm. tastes very, very familiar. It, it was very nice. I thought there was going to be a big nut in the middle of it, or at least like little bits and pieces. No little bits and pieces. It was very creamy. It mm -hmm. tastes like something that we would get on like Christmas or something out of like the value packs of chocolate. Or when you get the big box and... The, yeah, it yeah. tastes like one of those. Oh, well, you never know what you're going to get. Yeah, it's just like one of those. Those have all the box of chocolates at Christmas. They have a lot of hazelnut stuff now. You're probably mm -hmm. right. Yeah. yeah. It tastes like one of those. All right. That and was, it was better than I was expecting. Me too. I was just going to say it's far better than I thought it was going to be because I'm not huge on when there's a, just a gigantic hazelnut in the middle of my candy. I would be that would be good. All right. This one is the dark chocolate ganache heart. So this is going to be chocolate covered chocolate, is what ganache means probably. I bet you the chocolate covered chocolate, oh and it's dark, Ooh, it's dark. Is it gooey in the center? Mm -hmm. No? It's like a cream like that. No, it's chocolate, chocolate covered chocolate. So it's ganache what? Heart. <laughs> dark chocolate ganache heart. Oh yeah. He doesn't, doesn't like, like it. it. What do you think, Evie? I, uh, I really don't like yeah, it. Evie. I just don't like dark chocolate. Mm. This one is dark and milk kind of mixed together because its middle part is is not nearly that dark. Just the dark chocolate just overtakes the milk chocolate, so all I can taste is dark chocolate. 
That was not hard <laughs> It was for Evie. She, <laughs> she gave it a look to the last bite. <laughs> I thought that was really good. Mm -hmm. I like that. Right, which one of these little guys did we like best though? There was the lion. The orange one. The, the orange lion. lion. The hazelnut seashell. Or the dark chocolate over chocolate. <laughs> you know what? The dark chocolate ones go last. <laughs> <laughs> then the caramel ones go first. And then the gold one can go in the middle somewhere. I almost have to say it's weird for me. I like this one. That's my favorite one. The dark chocolate ganache heart heart loveliness this was really good i could disagree with you there. and i don't usually <laughs> jump on the dark chocolate but that was really good i would eat that if, i would eat that if i was going to open this up and take another one i would take this that was really good and yeah, normally i would really say good. i was going to take something with milk chocolate or caramel or something that had a little cookie in it or whatever but this was fantastic that's number one for me. That's, my, that's my number one. Well, out of this bag, that's my number one. I'm out of all of these, this is number one. No. Oh, which one's your number one? <laughs> um, I really, I really like that one. I really just like a, the just the big just old, just straight, a bar of just dark the chocolate. Straight, yeah. Where but if I was like? gonna go with something that I wanted to have something in the middle, I would go with the dark chocolate um, ganache one. I really like that one. This thing's fabulous. But yeah, my favorite one definitely was the um, caramel one. Yeah, the caramel one. The orange lion guy. The lion. The little lion the caramel face. Lion of yeah, that was my favorite one overall, and it was very tasty. I can tell. Yeah, that one was probably my favorite. One all right, so we all have a favorite. You hold up your favorite. You hold up your favorite. Yeah, we hold up her favorite. Here's the favorites. <laughs> It's hard to go wrong with Godiva because all Godiva chocolates are good. But some of them are a little bit better than others. But uh, yeah. thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting our small business. Please subscribe to Thimble Hooks and stop back soon. We have a lot more fun stuff coming up. See you later. Bye. Bye.